It's that time of year. Hello. 12-year-old Alejandra Montaño is in for her annual physical. In through your nose, out through your mouth. There was a time seeing a family doctor was something a lot of us took for granted. But for Paul Song of Santa Monica, not so much anymore. We were there as he tried to make an appointment. I'm interested in uh, finding a new uh, internist. Paul, who's married to TV personality Lisa Ling, is a doctor himself, a radiation oncologist, but... I actually have not had a physical probably about 20 years. Sadly, I think a lot of doctors do put off seeing other doctors. In June, when Paul's second daughter was born, he decided to finally do it, get that physical. But making an appointment, not so easy. We actually have the very best insurance. So when I tried to find a primary care physician, uh, I was shocked that none of them would take my insurance. Dr. Jay Lee is past president of the California Academy of Family Physicians. He's also chief medical officer of the Venice Family Clinic. Uh, this is a coordinator station. Upwards of 500 patients a day come here for their medical care. One of the challenges Dr. Lee faces, recruiting enough primary care doctors to take care of them all. I have an insurance card. What does it get me? That's the dilemma that a lot of patients are facing these days, is that they have a card. However, it's very difficult for patients to find uh, the access that they need. What's the value in having a primary care doctor? It's really about that relationship uh, that you have with someone who puts the care in healthcare. Yes, we do take care of colds and flus, uh, but we also uh, worry about patients in terms of getting their mammograms and getting their colonoscopies and talking with them about stress. When doctors have time to do all of this, and nothing beats that. So why the shortage? It comes down to money. For patients on Medi-Cal... We are third from the bottom in the country in terms of Medi-Cal reimbursement. And for patients with top-tier insurance, like Paul Song... There's been an increasing pay gap uh, between the specialties and uh, primary care. Surgeons and specialists just make more. With the average medical student graduating over a quarter of a million dollars in debt, it makes it very hard for them to look at that pay gap and to say, well, I can really make it. The California legislature recently allocated money to help pay off medical school debt for new doctors who choose to specialize in primary care. But because training takes so long, it will be several years before we actually have more of them. So for now, some doctors have stopped taking new patients and others are charging an arm and a leg. $1,800 and was not willing to work with my insurance company. So Paul will keep searching, and Dr. Lee will keep trying to recruit new Hi, doctors Dr. Lee. into his field. It's nice to see you. How are you doing today? Good, I'm doing well. May I listen to your heart? Yeah, sure. Okay.